Welcome back to our channel, Jasper here and Jen. I am an A certified personal trainer. And if you're new here, welcome to our channel where we talk about all things health and wellness related. As the weather warms up, in fact, it was 90 degrees today. <laughs> I wanted to discuss how our fitness and health and everything are affected by the seasons and specifically the summer as we are as we are approaching the summer season. And while I was at work today, someone asked me if sweating affects muscle growth. And I had to stop and think about it. And so I thought I would jump on here and elaborate on why, why it doesn't affect muscle growth. So as I said, muscle growth is not directly affected by the act of sweating. Some people think that sweating will bring the blood to the muscle um, and help it grow. Muscle growth, also known as hypertrophy, is affected by a couple different factors like resistance training, proper nutrition, and enough rest. Rest is so underrated. <laughs> Those factors play more of a significant role in hypertrophy than sweating. When you engage in resistance training, weightlifting or whatnot, you are creating little micro tears in the muscular tissue and through proper nutrition, specifically eating enough protein, which by the way, I have a video discussing protein, so make sure you check that out if you're interested in protein. <laughs> Your body is able to build and repair those little micro tears that you created during your workout, leading to muscle growth over time. Sweating is the body's way of regulating temperature, especially during physical exertion. It helps cool the body down by evaporating and basically wicking away that excessive heat. Sweating can temporarily cause a temporary weight loss because you are losing water. You're basically getting dehydrated because you're sweating. And so if you're doing an, an extreme workout you're going to lose more water during that workout and look a little bit leaner after that workout. But sweating alone isn't benefiting your muscular growth or development, right? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> if you're looking to build muscle, which that is one of my current goals because I mean, because as a woman, I am looking to hopefully avoid osteoporosis in my later life and other things such as diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Anyway, there's, I have another video talking about what strength training does for women. So if you wanna check that out as well. If you're looking to gain muscle mass or lean up, tone up, a well-rounded workout routine is vital. Focusing on progressive overload by gradually increasing the intensity and challenge of your workouts that could involve lifting heavier weights, increasing the number of repetitions, trying more advanced exercises. <laughs> Guinea pig break. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, proper nutrition is crucial for muscle development, even if you're just toning up. So be sure to consume enough protein to support what you're trying to do so that your muscles can repair themselves and grow and get that toneness that you're looking for or that growth hypertrophy that you're looking for and rest making sure you get enough sleep ideally six to eight hours of rest of sleep each night so that your body can rejuvenate and heal and get you those gains that you're looking for so to sum up sweating has absolutely nothing to do with muscle growth you're basically just getting a little bit dehydrated after your workout and that's probably why there is a myth that sweating helps with muscular growth. It does not. <laughs> Consistent workout routine, proper nutrition, and plenty of rest are the magic three. <laughs> all right guys, that's all I got. Thank you for joining Jasper and myself in this quick little talk about sweating and hypertrophy. And nope, they don't relate. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so Jasper and I can keep coming on here and talking with you. Please let me know if there's any other myths that you would like me to debunk or anything that you would like us to discuss or chat about. Um, again, my name's Jen. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.